I uh, am tilting my head like this a lot, it's because I have a crick in my neck. It's been a while since you've had a crick in your yeah. neck. Do you ever know what, is, there, is it usually when you wake up? I don't know what it is. I have, I, a, I, have, I, have, a, I have a theory. I have a hyperextensive neck, so my, my neck is very flexible. So mm-hmm. what they say is that I over... Compensate when you do no, self fellatio. No, yes. I overextend it, mm-hmm. and then that causes Obviously. it to tighten. All right. <laughs> it's worth it, though, to be able to do self fellatio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it feels great. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex, of course. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you if you ever support us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe to the like button for more juicy content. That's how you get it. Yep. You press it. Yep. And it... Just like that. It squirts all over the algorithm. Got to do it. Uh, and today we're doing a movie review. Little <laughs> shitlets. And we're doing a review of the 2022 Malayalam film. Uh-huh. Oh. Hold on. It's covering it. Uh. Two seconds. Here we go. Why the heck is it taking so long for that there to we disappear? Go. Uh, Thalumala. Thalumala. Yep. Is that how you pronounce that? Thalumala. 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 Directed by... Kali Raman. If it's mispronounced at any point, you know we're idiots, so Written sorry. by... Ashraf Hamza and Musin Parari. Uh, Vishnu, Vishnu Vijay, Vijay does the, the music. Composer, starring Tavino, Tavino Thomas. Thomas. And, and a whole bunch of other people. Shine Tom Chaco, uh, Kalyani Priyadarshan. Yeah. Is Omega it? Babu is played by Chamban Vino Jos, mm-hmm. Bino Papu. Big uh, ensemble uh, cast, but obviously it's Tavino Thomas's uh, uh, movie. Um, it'll be, it came out last year. Uh, it's on Netflix. Netflix. Uh, so you can go check it out. Hurry up. There. Um, <laughs> Uh, Rick is having a tumultuous relationship. I don't like them. (laughs) No, they need to fix their stuff. Yeah. And there'll be more for me to talk about in this review about how Netflix is really awful and they need to really change what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, But it'll be 100% spoiler review because it came out last year. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Come back. Rick, your initial thoughts of Thalu Mala. I want to make a prediction. I predict, (sighs) I suspect, I could be wrong. I have a feeling Corbin's going to say this is his favorite film that he's seen this year th- thus far. That's my prediction, and we'll see what he says when we get to what he says. Mm-hmm. Um, this, for me, uh, you'll, you'll be hearing about this during the dummies, especially as it pertains to cinematography, <sighs> sound design, um... This is one of the most original things I've seen since Everything Everywhere All at Once. Loved it. I'm so glad because I was going to have to punch you in the face. Uh, <laughs> I came in ready to yeah, uh, I, and fight. I, and I, and, I, and I, I mean that. I think this is one of the best films I've um, seen since Everything Everywhere All at Once. And I don't, was I right? I don't, this... I don't know if it's my favorite because there's also that, that one film, um, Malayalam, that came out last year as well. Which is very funny because last year at the Dummies, I said this is the first year in the channel that I think a Malayalam film isn't my favorite of the year. Right. Um, but we hadn't seen these. Right. One, and the, the uh, other uh, one, what was it called? The one with it, it was very sarcastic. Uh, yeah. With the um, with all of the funny yeah. number two. Yeah. 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 That we loved. Uh, it too. Really original. But I mean, probably my favorite films of the year so far. And obviously these didn't come out this year, so this is just what No, we've that seen. we have seen this year. Um are probably all Molly Alam. This one, that one. Yeah, that I, I wish can't I kinda them. wish this had been part of the this would have been part of the fighting oh, with 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 easily. best films of twenty twenty two. There's yeah. so much I love about this film. Me and, too. And and for this year, uh still LJP's film. Uh I love yeah, that, that film is, as well. Which are it's wonderful because they're so completely different. It's the fucking Molly Alam industry. I know. They're just they're Originality is their theme, and it's amazing to and watch. And high level artistry but, is their theme. Yeah, I. Uh, Which is a great takeaway from this. It, I love I, this. I, film. I think there's a lot of people who would see this and just brush it off and think to themselves, okay, the I heck? see I see the technical greatness in like the editing and the camera work and things of that nature, but 
So we'll we'll yeah. we will talk more about why um, this thing's I, pretty elevated. And I don't know how much you're familiar. One of my favorite directors is Edgar Wright, and I don't know how much of Edgar Wright you've seen. I don't. If I have, I don't David know. David Driver, it. Did you see Baby? Oh yeah, I didn't know that's, that's him. That's him. Okay, but he's also Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Didn't see it. Uh, which is, it's, it's based off a comic book, and they it's it became like this amazing cult classic. Uh, it's inc- I love Baby Driver. It's incredibly shot like this, and so you can tell either it's one of his favorite directors or he was just like, I want to get some inspiration from him because he also does Shaun of the Dead. He does... Okay. Um, so th- th- his style is very quirky, fast editing, extremely creative edits in yeah. terms of transitions. Right, right, right. Uh, so it's very reminiscent of that, and so I loved it because you don't see that in, in other industries. You don't see that in Hollywood even. You don't see it anywhere, really. Wright. Yeah. It's it's his style. Like, Wes Anderson has a style. Um, uh, who's the other one? That, the other uh, ones, you, you would see it are the brothers, the, the, the creators of, of, of Everything Everywhere All at Once. Yes, they, they have a style as well. Um, Edgar Wright's style is this. I mean, it did, it, I'm not saying it was a copy of his, but you could tell it was definitely influenced by an Edgar Wright, um, whom is one of my favorite directors because I think he's so, so creative. This film is so interesting because it's such a simple concept. Did you look at <laughs> the translation of the title? Yeah, it's called Ballad of Brawls. Yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, uh, uh, which is exactly what it is. Yeah, it's ba- <laughs> It's a ballad of fights. It's, it's an extremely simple story. Very simple. Uh, in terms I, of, I got like, there's frustrated. Not, there's not a lot of actual storyline going on. In the middle of the movie, I was thinking to myself, okay, for all of its brilliance and its entertainment value, am I going to walk away from this thing saying, what did anybody want? I didn't care about the characters, what was really going on. And then about 25 minutes later, <laughs> I thought to myself, okay, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I get it now. absolutely brilliant what they, because like, uh, do we shout out the editor? Ne- uh, we have, there's a lot of technicals. We have to shout out. Basically, the director, Nishad Yosef, is the editor and team. Cinematographer. Jim Shi Khaled and the entire cinematography team. And if I could find the stunt coordinator. The stunt work and something that... Production manager's Benny. ...was apparently missed in the original credits, Mm. which is kind of suck. Yeah. You won't find credits for them on IMDb either. Big applause, kudos to the entire animation team. Yeah. Who who weren't even credited in the original credits of the film. Really? Yeah. That's and production said it was a misstep on their part. They they apologized. It's a pretty big part of the film. Pretty big part of the film. Yeah, I I love how And sound design. Everybody involved with sound design, just so you know, we picked up on, I'm sure you did too, mm. every little nuance like when he's sitting at the guy talking about the arts and it's time for him to take out his headphones because the guy said, please take those off while you're on the platform. And you hear the sound you hear in your AirPods when they disengage from your Bluetooth connection. Yeah, yeah. Right? There's a, Little things like that. There's a ma- out. There were some times the sound design was so good, I had to take my headphones out to see if what I was hearing was happening outside or in my place because it sounded like a sound there. The sound department is quite big for, quite for this big. film. Uh, Be- which is wonderful. Beautiful. The cinematography, the editing, the animation, visual effects, and the sound design were everything, everywhere, all at once level. Yeah. That means it's Oscar caliber, um, as, as good as that stuff gets. So let's talk about the editing first, because the editing oh, was, it's probably the so first, fun. It's probably the first thing that will strike you about this film, is the, is the editing slash transitioning yes. between scenes yep. and what they do to for, like, he's getting ready in the morning. And, I love this thing. Yeah. <laughs> It's once again, it's very Edgar Wright oh. uh, in, in in the style. Um, if if you haven't watched Edgar Wright, and I don't know if you can, if you'd be able to appreciate um, Scott Pilgrim, but they, it's it's because they shot this kind of like a almost a comic book kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's it just a, a chronicles comic of comic book of their fights. Yeah, uh, it um, almost in a couple of spots felt like the multiverse Spider Man card, yeah. the very first Spider Man. Um, but the editing seamless. Holy shit, the editing, like, there's Incredible. multiple times that your jaw drops or I'm just like, I, I literally out loud said, holy shit. Yeah, me, I did too, with <laughs> zero continuity flaws that I could find. I was like, this is incredible. Insanity. Why don't more people do this? Yeah. This is, because uh, it's- Well, you know why? It, it takes such a skill, It's so man. damn hard. It That's why they don't do it. It takes such a skill. Yes. Uh, and once again, Malayalam industry just is like, I'm going to do something different than what everybody else is doing, and I'm going to do it on such a high level 
that you're going to wonder, why doesn't everybody else do this? But yeah. it's like Malayalam is the only one that has this kind of creative juice flowing through their veins. I think they are – Around the world. <laughs> they are the Wild West in term, literally in terms of anything that they conceive and think of. You could pitch and they're going to say, yeah, let's try it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was... and, and I, I, um, well, I was just going to say something. I, I'm pulling a, a, you. It was <laughs> something I was going to say a second ago about um, what you were saying. Molly Elm industry is so creative. So, yes, uh... Molly Elm is so creative. Um, we, we were talking about the editing and no one does it because it's yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so difficult. Yeah. Um, I, if it uh, comes back to it me, it'll be back. important. Um, but yeah, the the editing on this, the the transitions, what they decided to do, the the you, it's like an ADHD person's dream kind of movie. Which yeah. is why I think I love Edgar Wright so much, is because he he shoots in that in that way of just like, even though like it's I think if, even if I could speak Malayalam, obviously you could be much more than that because we have to read subtitles along with seeing what's going on in the visuals. And Malayalam talks extremely so fast. fast, so fast. So there's so much we miss in this film as well. Um, but to stay connected in this non-linear story, extremely non-linear oh, it's story. so non-linear, but it has a full narrative. Yeah, but like you, you could get like lost, especially if like you have to read subtitles and you can't see that it says flashback. Right. Or, or like you could get so lost and be like, wait, 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 hold on. What, what is, what, what's going on here? And so, uh, but I thought they did a very good job because non-linear stories, obviously they're, not uncommon. A lot of people, a lot of people do them. A Pulp Fiction, very famously, yeah. one of the most famous nonlinear uh, stories out there. But I thought it was a, a super creative. Another just create anything you could do creative in this film. This film did it. It did it uh, <laughs> in terms of editing. Yeah, audio. What they did with like you'd, you'd hear a car horn, right? <laughs> or you'd hear car keys, mm -hmm. and then they you'd hear it again, or a dog bark, and you'd hear it again. Yeah, or the and sequence then, with the ice and the the um, the lighter in the bar, where we was just always hearing the clink, clink, and it turned into like a stomp. Thing. Yeah, it becomes a song, <laughs> uh, and it's like it's <laughs> so unique. And I want to talk about because like one thing that struck me right at the beginning that I was like, I don't know if I like this, uh, is when it for, the first song came on. Uh -huh. And it's very music video, right? Very music video-y. And I was like, hmm. This just feels like a random song. I don't know if I like this. And then it got to the next one. And then the next one. I'm like, okay, this is a theme and I like this now. Okay, I'm on, right. I'm on board with right, this. Right, right, right. Because at first I was like, because these are just, they they literally went for music videos and they just put them in the movie. Just threw them in. And, and started yep. telling part of the story in the music video. And it was just unique. And it was very different. Very. And visually Stunning, stunning. Uh, just the the heightened colors, the beauty of it. Stunning. Once again, everything about this movie is extremely creative and so well done. It's like I can't. There's nothing and, I, a bad about this movie I could say. And if anybody is wondering, and obviously we're going to talk about the fight sequences. Oh just yes, but and I think someone told me there's a behind the scenes. Oh really? Of the theater fight scene. Oh, that's awesome. Uh -huh. Um. So the the uh. The movie itself, a lot of people, I think, could walk away from this, and if they weren't really paying attention or this isn't their cup of tea, they could easily just walk away from this and think to themselves, what was all of that? It just was just boring, except for there was another fight sequence and another fight sequence, and I guess that's all this is. It's called The Ballad of Brawls. It's just about fight sequences. The movie tells you itself toward the end when he says, this isn't about hitting. I lo I loved that moment. Yeah. Because at that point, you know that's not what it's about. No. And it's just this straight up wink, wink, nudge, nudge audience member who may be completely disconnected, even though we're at the end. This this wasn't about the hitting. If yeah. you thought it was about the hitting, you've missed everything we've yeah. been doing to this point. There's a lot of underlying messaging uh, <laughs> as well in terms of obviously. <laughs> I remembered. I loved remember the final. Yeah. The f I was just going to point out the final, the one of the almost final fight, because we don't see the final fight. Uh, the final fight at the wedding when they're going at it and she's just mm. <laughs> and they're like, come on, let's go. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> I also I extremely love how it ended. Oh, I did too. Of, you thought he was gonna go oh, I did too. get the girl and he's yes. like, wait, uh what uh who's <laughs> whose thing do you want to solve first? I, I think we he, should do mine. When when Babu came walking in, I thought, ah, uh, 
this is going to be glorious, and then we're <clears throat> we're going to end on a fight, and we're not even going to see that fight. No. We're just going to be known that the Ballad of Brawls just One, never two, stops. It's very. Uh, I know you haven't seen it. Very Scott Pilgrim versus the World. So basically, the the concept of that movie is, in order to get this girl that he likes, uh -huh. he needs to defeat her seven evil exes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's that's. Fantastic. All in anime, Conceptually. anime style. It's it's an absolute brilliant movie. I love that movie. It's such a cult classic. Um, one of Edgar Wright's best. But it's very reminiscent of that in terms of they ended it and he's they're going after another fight. It's yeah. and it just keeps continuing. Uh, so which good. I, I loved a lot. Okay, um, just can we just talk about some of the spectacular fight sequences, including the one might, arm break. Oh my god! The the theater fights, and I know people have oh, talked the about theater this fight a lot. scene. The theater fight scene might be the best fight scene I've seen in Indian cinema. Uh, I'd have to really go back, and there's a lot of obviously really good ones. There's Rocky Handsome, and you, you got all these kind of things. But in terms of on the budget, they did, <sighs> and for the technical brilliance of yes. the filmmaking of it going on and how much chaos there is. The last... It's one of the most brilliant fights I've ever seen in cinema. The last chaos in a movie theater I ever saw that I just loved the complete anarchy and bedlam and over-the-top nature of it. Inglorious Bastards. You got it. it. Is that That's it. It's Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. This was on that level. Yeah. But as far as... The choreography. The though, choreography, right? the fight scene, the visual capacity, the all of the feathers and stuff going around... Uh, I could watch that fight scene over and over and over again just to 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 marvel, and then that final shot behind him with the screen engulfed in flames, yeah, just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and then obviously the we the wedding fight scene, and then obviously the other fight scene, uh, and I I love the how our fight scene. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it was great. That shot where they they had to have taken the roof off the car when they go from the front of the car and they're just coming across it and they're all fighting in the car. Yeah. Oh. I think they went around, in the beginning of it, I think they went around the thing while they were fighting the car, I think. Yeah, they and, did. And, oh. It's just magnificent, technically. The, the, the cinematographer and the um, editor and the whoever the uh, camera work was, I don't know if that was, I'm assuming it was a camera on a dolly? Around the car, it could. Or there's it was so many drone. different. It could have been a drone. It could have been on I felt a 360. It was, steady to be it a was drone. very steady. It could have been a rail that was done peripherally that came up so that as it went around, you didn't see the rail on the ground. But like this film, even and we haven't even talked about any performances, just because. Right. The main thing about it, and there were really good performances. I, I enjoyed a lot of, and we'll talk about them. The the, the thing about that is the technical fucking brilliance on every goddamn level of yeah. this movie yeah. is. Off the charts, ten out of ten. Yeah, it's it's insanity. A, it's it's as good technically as everything, everywhere, all at once, yeah. which was the winner of what nine Oscars, including Best Picture last yeah. year. I uh, so if I had, if I had one great, and it's not at the end of the film, I I, I think I would have liked to have been maybe just under two hours as opposed to maybe two twenty, just to keep it tighter for me. Yeah, maybe. Um, didn't bother it, me. Didn't bother me uh, at, at too much, but um, that would be the, if I had a, a gripe. But the performances I want to talk about, let's talk about uh, Tavino Thomas. He's making such brilliant choices as an actor uh, to in what he's deciding to do. Because I know you didn't uh, you didn't get to see it, but he was in uh, 2018, which was uh, just came out about a month ago uh, that I saw. But then he was in Manal Minari, mm -hmm. right? Uh, he was in Kala, which mm -hmm. I loved, which is a uh, in terms of a fight film, another technical brilliant film. He has that film coming out, Arm, right? Mm -hmm. That we saw the teaser. We saw the for. teaser for it. Uh, coming out, and he's just making a lot of really cool choices as an actor um, in terms of not just films that will showcase him as an actor and what he can do, because yep. he is a talented actor, yeah. but just films that he's like, these are cool films. I want to be part of these films. Um, a very... Uh, he's almost a new kind of 21st century action star. Yeah. Because... They're obviously action films, but um, oddly, it's it's not their their high level artistic greatness action films on a bunch of levels. Yeah, yeah. Arm, which um, I don't know when it releases, but obviously uh, we saw excited. the teaser. But it has him and Mo Mo Mahalo uh, in it, uh, which is going to be very cool. Yeah, I thought he did a really cool job. I he has a great screen presence. He looks like almost like. Um, you know how you, don't take it as a, this person. Army Hammer has a movie 
star look to him. Right? Yeah, right. Uh, cannibal. <laughs> Um, but he, he looks like a movie star, right? Yeah, yeah. Just his screen presence. He looks like a movie star. He looks like a movie star. He just has this cool demeanor about him. Uh, he has this swagger about him. Uh, him and the girl had great chemistry. Great chemistry. Uh, I, I want to shout out her as yeah, well, because I, 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 I liked them. her performance a lot. I did too. Uh, even of though, all of the performances, hers, well, and it's not a surprise because she didn't get into the fighting, but hers was the most subtle, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she did a great job. I want to talk about Fafa Light as well. <laughs> uh, where Where is he? Is this him? Uh, yeah. Is that him? Yeah. Shine, okay. shine Tom Chaco. In his, in his... Always reminds us of Fafa. But in that photo, he doesn't look so much like Fafa. No. But there, God, it he happens. looks like Fafa's brother in this so much. I think we said it in the teaser, we, re- trailer reaction. Cause, and he's a great actor, too, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's Every time he's on, you, you he's like, he's a good villain. I like, or He's not even a villain, either. Like, no. His character's so complex, but he plays such a... The, the mustache curl. I love the mustache. It's such an I Indian villain thing. It is. Of just every time he's on screen, the mustache curl. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a little quirk that I, did I you, love. Did you like also the shout-out to Fight Club? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was yeah. so funny. Oh, did you hear the uh, the the sh- the the audio shot? I think it was in the movie theater right before the brawl. Well, I saw VJ Satapathy on the screen. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, was that my? I didn't yeah. see that. Maybe that's what they were watching uh, Vikram Veda. But did you hear the? Ah, nah, 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 nah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, may- I didn't see what they were watching, so maybe they were watching Vikram Veda. But I heard the Vikram Veda audio, and yeah. I was like, oh, oh yeah, because yeah. that's such a classic, <laughs> like da na 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 na. And it, yes, it was very fitting for what was about to happen. Um, and everybody else, I thought, did very good, uh, a very good job in terms of performance-wise. Yep, I loved his friends and their quirkiness, and the lead up to the to the wedding fight scene was absolutely absolutely fantastic. Uh, and <laughs> and then the car, the crescendo of it in the car, was so funny. It was, and this is the thought that comes to my mind is. This is the most artistic, anti-artistic film I've probably ever seen. Because when he's huh. at the thing where That's the guy sure. is standing up at the at the whatever it was for the arts and saying, I don't know why you're here. You know, the people who are here are are the ones that do poetry and the ones who do high level art, artistry. And he comes up to the mic and he says to everybody, do you, how many of you know why I'm here? Because you're handsome. Yeah, because you fight good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, there's uh, so much. I love the the score of it all. It was so quirky and unique, as, as, I've, as I've said. I think all the songs were a lot of fun. Uh, then when I got into it of, of understanding what they were doing yeah. in terms of the songs, uh, the fight choreography was brilliant. Incredible. Um, I, and executed so well. It, the, all the stunts were brilliant. Man, oh. the bone breaks. That one oh bone break in the chair where it snaps God. and you see the bone was glorious. Oh my Absolutely word. Absolutely glorious. Like, and so many punches to the face with the, sh- the cheeks flapping. I, I just, it's, it's of the two out, 220 runtime, 40 minutes is fight scene. It's. <laughs> And some of the best it's fight so scenes you've ever seen fantastic. on screen. Fantastic. Because the theater it's... one is legendary. The theater fight scene is legendary. And I remember when this came out, and a lot of people wanted us to go see it in theaters. Uh, it either I wasn't playing here it. or it was an hour away. Would have loved this on right? a big screen. Unfortunately, we don't get a lot of... we uh, The LGP film, which we traveled for, took us an hour and a half to, to get down there. Yeah. Uh, well, I went down there because I knew it would be worth it because it's LJP, right? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know much about this. I heard that what like everybody's raving about it when it came out, but unfortunately, the close theaters around us are either just Hindi or Telugu uh, or Tamil sometimes. Yeah, but I, they've got to be huge. Yeah, they got to be big. Um, Very rarely do you get something that's not a juggernaut. Malayalam just us. doesn't get the distribution here. Sadly, I yeah. wish it did, man. Yeah. Because uh, there's so many that I'd love to see in theaters. I know. I would have loved to have seen this on a big uh, screen. That would have been amazing. Oh, and the sound and everything. It would have been a delight. Uh, it would have been it heightened the experience even yeah. more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't... What's there to say about this? Other than uh, there may be some folks who felt like it's Seinfeld. It's a show about nothing. But, it, <laughs> but it's... Yeah. It is, but it isn't. Yeah. It's it, one of it the most is a... brilliant 
simple, one of the most highly artistic, simple films I've ever seen. It's it's so great. Yep. Uh, <laughs> this is just a film about a bunch of fights. Uh, obviously, there's, there's more context under that. But essentially, when you break down the story, it's a film of a bunch of fights. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it has an, an interesting message in that I think about them laying on the floor right toward the very end when he said it's not about the hitting. And it's... We are who we are oftentimes because of the people we fight. You know, you you become your best when you have an adversary who can push you to your limits. And yeah. that, it's not spoken. It's not direct. But that's definitely in there. So uh, what's there to say about this other than it's really damn good? Malayalam <laughs> is just – they're just so much ahead of everyone, including Hollywood a lot of times. Like – well, the Malayalam film that came out of Hollywood and it got all the raves that it did was Everything Everywhere All at Once. That was a Malayalam style film. And it was nice to see it get the accolades it deserves because yeah. there'll be more of them now. So, yes, I agree. Uh, they're just so ahead of everyone. I feel like every other industry, this is Telugu, Tamil, Hindi, Bengali, Assamese, uh, Marathi. Original Even though obviously all of them, I have great films. I'm not saying that of they course. don't all have great films. No, we're talking about original I, creative storytelling. In, consistent yeah consistently original great storytelling and acting yep uh and they, never done for the sake of novelty or cliche or gimmick yeah really genuinely original and it's it's kind of insane that obviously ss rajamuli and rr deserved all the accolades but the fact that there's such original stuff coming out of the Malayalam industry, and they're not the ones that have gotten the international acclaim. Yeah, it's just, even it's, though they've tried, obviously with Jali Taku they sent, and but it didn't make it. And uh, but there's like it's just maybe it's just too highbrow for a lot of people. <laughs> same, same with as well. The, most of the Marathi films we've seen yeah. fall under that same category of high level artistry and originality, and those those two industries just have not yet penetrated we saw that in the round tables too the talk about it's it's cut stick to what you're doing oh, word yeah. of mouth is going to spread yeah there there's going it's inevitable yeah it's I inevitable. Agree. anyways uh let us know what you thought about this film if you didn't like it you're a fucking idiot uh <laughs> and uh, what should be the next malayalam film that we should watch let us know down below 